He's also giving the audience something to enjoy, from paintings which were done with acrylic or oil on canvas and board, to drawings on paper, either with pastel or charcoal, to sculptural pieces. Among the major works that I have now, uh, one, a big one, I call the gods, G-O-D-S. The gods are hungry. What I'm saying is that even if, if the gods are hungry, then those of us who are not gods will be worse. I have the other one about angry and hungry youth. All I'm trying to say reflect the situation in the country now, where youth have no job, they have no means of doing that, they are doing sort of things funny to exist. There's no better time than now to paint. That's what this veteran artist believes, as he doesn't have much on his mind now. He's just taking things easy and enjoying his time on Mother Earth. The idea is that I'm celebrating my birthday, and I don't want to go anywhere other than art. So I'm exhibiting artworks. And those that have come to see the works have more than just admiration to take from it. He has an interesting and uh, wonderful collection. If you take time to look at them, you will notice that they span a period of 60 years. The oldest one is about 1957, when he graduated, you know, till now. He's still working, you know. So the, the, the work tells a story, because he told me himself that each work has a story behind it. And if you look at the, fa you know, the phases that the works have gone through over the years, you will see that in between there were gaps. And this is attributed to the fact that you know, he was engaged in the Ministry of Education, you know, where he spent most of his working career you know, uh, rising to the peak, you know, and um, you will see other ones, you know, especially between 2014 and now, you will see so many of them. So there are works that you can divide into, into faces. There are great works, particularly coming from an 82-year-old man. He has a very large collection. This is a man that has been an administrator and just decided about three, four, five years I picked the challenge of going back to the studio and he has produced over 100 pieces of work. That's marvelous. This exhibition of his works of art is part of the week-long list of events lined up to honor this living legend. Eighty-two works for eighty-two years, and believe me, creating those works was no mean feat. It took a lot of work and passion for a man at that age. And Art House was privileged to be at one of his work sessions, and we'll tell you more about it in a moment. Stay with us. He began as a senior information officer in Eastern Nigeria, a post that combined the roles of the information ministry and cultural officer. Then in 1968, he was promoted deputy director of the newly created cultural division. And these are your works of art for this week. We begin with this one by Adiola Haruna. It's called Womanhood. She's inspired by hardworking women and it's done with watercolor on paper. Then Emmanuel Anaye has this one. He said he just completed it. It's called Emotional Struggle. It's on acrylic on canvas.
Emmanuel also has another one. He calls it the joy of motherhood is done with acrylic on canvas. Then Toby has this one. He calls it cry of a virgin is done on charcoal on paper. This work is based on how he sees Nigeria and looks at how it was in the past and how it is now and hoping that it will get better in the future. He uses the bit like earrings to depict the culture and identity of the country which is slowly being eroded on the back of civilization and he believes that Nigeria is crying and hoping that she comes back to her glory days. Godwin Chima is also talking about Nigeria in this piece called Great Abundance. You can see if you look closely you will see a woman in between all the designs and motifs. It's done with pen, permanent marker, acrylic and oil color. Then Femi Adediji has this one. He calls it life experience. He's asking people to look before they leap. It's done with pencil, charcoal and cardboard. Then Obunaya Victor has this one. It's called Rare Beauty. It's done with black pen, blue pen and green pencil on cardboard paper. He explains that the thought of war, riot and peacekeeping missions, fallen soldiers, all of this is a product of some people's greed or pride. But truth or beauty shines true. Children are born and things go on. So he's saying that in between all this war and sometimes violence in some communities, you see beauty shining through. Michael Adenubi has this oil on canvas painting. It's called My First Letter. And those are your works of art for this week. We do encourage you to keep them coming.